The construction of Edinburgh's tram network is one of the largest civil engineering projects in Europe. It's attracting the attention of civil engineering students from around the country. This particular group is made up of first-year undergraduates from Strathclyde. This is their first experience of a site visit out with the university and the reason we come with the students is really to get their virgin boots dirty and give them a feel for the construction industry and contracting. We do have some dropouts of students occasionally, so it's very important we get them out onto site to make sure they understand the career path at the end of their studies. And by doing that on site and by going to consultancy offices, we can show them the reality of work life in the construction industry. For the people working on the project, it's important to get over that civil engineering is about solving interesting, complex problems. The control team and the actual operations team are on the, the students need to understand what goes into a civil engineering project from, from the very bottom up. Um, they have to understand the, the whole concept and, and not just the area that you're working in, but the, the constraints that you have to work in. Understanding what those constraints are can be you know, very important to a project. We were giving them, first of all, an overview of the, the whole depot site and explaining to them the, the difficulties that we've had and that we've overcome. The problems include difficult land drainage, coping with the proximity of the airport and the need to redesign this site to incorporate a new stop to link into the railway to Fife. For the students themselves, it was a chance to get a feel for the reality of life on a major project to see and hear what's actually involved and indeed to confirm in their own minds whether they'd made the right choice of course. It was really good, it was good to just kind of see things like in reality rather than just kind of equations on paper and see it actually getting used and kind of get a feel for site work as well. It's confirmed what I actually want to do as an engineer, I mean I was always thinking I wanted to be out on a site, it's just sort of helped firm up sort of why I'm doing this course and everything and sort of makes a bit more sense why we're doing some of the stuff in the classroom that we are. I'm still undecided, still like to go through more of uni, but um, I think in the end I'd like to go into consulting probably, but it's kind of site visits like this, we've got another one to the Halcrow office, which means that we can kind of see a bit of both and then I can get a better feel after that. I just couldn't cope with the office work and I mean you can do so much more if you go as site engineer, you can do, you can end up third world country, you can work on massive projects like the trams or motorways, bridging projects, there's such a wide variety of things you can branch out into. They are seeing a bit of the, the, the nuts and bolts of the industry today uh, and it's, it's a bit chilly out here today but this is the reality of constructing, we want to make sure that our graduates see history happening. So there are some novel projects such as this in Scotland currently that we make sure our students get out to visit. Sometimes the things that you thought in, in the original concept just don't fit, they just don't work and you have to go back sometimes to the beginning of the drawing board and think again and that's where being an engineer becomes exciting and interesting and that's what we want to try and get across to the students today.